Greetings, Daniel Porcedo for Adobe Photoshop CS6 Extended, and we're going to start looking at some of the new features available to those subscribers of the Creative Cloud in Photoshop 13.1. The first one is the infinite light. We've added a better soft shadow preview. So as you see here, there's a hard shadow, but now the preview, once you scrub there, move the slider, it's much softer and it gives you a better accurate representation of how soft that shadow is going to be. That's the first one. The next one is roughness roughness preview. So in CS6, this is what your roughness preview would look like. Just like that, you wouldn't see anything. So now, at least if you scrub it, you'll get some kind of indication on the canvas of what's happening. You can see here, it gets really soft. It's a, it's a great indication that there's something changing on the canvas. And as designers, you really want to get an idea that there's something happening before you didn't get any of that. At least now you can go, okay, it's going to be almost gone. So let's scrub it over here and do a ray trace because the ray tracer has been updated. It's a little bit faster, and you see that there are no more big block, blue blocks going across the screen disrupting the image. At least this way you can still see the image. You have a blue marching ants going around the screen, and it's not as disruptive to looking at the design and watching the progress. And now you can see that roughness is pretty darn accurate. You, they give you a nice little fuzzy preview, and that's kind of what it looks like. The other thing you can notice here is the ray trace time progress remaining here has been greatly improved and it'll give you more accurate representation of what's left. It gives you say what, 1 minute 45 now. So you got about a minute 45 to run and get that cup of coffee before. Yeah, it was kind of fudging. So now along with that, being able to see the preview and you can see that it's updating here. It's only rendering what it needs to render and you can see that actively on screen. I'm going to go on and make another video because if I pile this all in one video, it may be too much too soon. So give me your questions, your comments, and I'll try to answer them as they come. Thanks.